guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you how to get this New Year's Eve inspired makeup look. It's also gonna be using the new Kathleen Lights for ColourPop makeup collection. And this video is also a collaboration with another YouTuber. Her name is Tony DeClotney. She's my friend. I've been watching this girl for years, okay? If anybody can get y'all right fashion for New Year's Eve, it would be her. So please be sure to check out her video. She's gonna be showing you some fashion inspo tips for New Year's Eve. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna prime my skin first with my Becca Primer for oily skin. This is gonna make sure that the foundation that we're using lasts all day. This one is also from Becca, and it is their full coverage matte foundation, which is amazing and very, very long wearing. So if you're gonna be up all night partying, I would highly suggest that combo. Next, I'm gonna contour with my Black Opal Foundation Stick. This is pretty much what I always contour with. This is gonna add some dimension and shape to the face. And because I wanted a full coverage look, because we are gonna be partying, we're gonna be taking some pictures, I'm gonna be using my Maracuja Creases Concealer from Tarte. This is a heavy, heavy makeup look, guys. So this is not your everyday application. This is definitely for those of you guys that wanna be fleet and photograph and all of the above. So I'm blending all of that out. And then of course, because we're using cream products, we have to set them with powder. I'm gonna be using my Sasha Buttercup powder and just, you know, applying that in there. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Brow Duo for brows. After I finish the face, I move on to brows. I use a combination of the Maybelline Brow Pencil, NYX Brow Pencil, and then I set them with a brow gel. And then as for eyes, I love this eyeshadow base from Sephora. It's amazing. Then I moved on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using Porter from Kathleen's Collection into the crease. And I ended up kind of moving in so that you can see more detail, but this is such a beautiful burgundy color. Then I took this green color. This one is Telepathy. Telepathy, telepathy. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm applying that on my lid and it's a beautiful olive green and I'm gonna make sure that I'm blending that into the crease. Next, I'm moving on into the inner corner. This one is, oops, I made a mistake, sorry. That first color was Moonlight. This is telepathy, telepathy, telepathy. Y'all know what I mean, all right? All right, blend that all together and then apply Porter on the bottom lash line again and blend it out. By the way, I always have a hard time applying those bottom lash line colors, but this brush saves my life. Then I'm gonna take Weenie. <laughs> I don't really know what the inspiration for that name was, but I'm applying that on the inner bottom corner. Then we need to tight line and apply this liner in the waterline. Cause y'all know I like my liner just like I like my Frappuccino Mocha Caramel Macchiato. All right, blend it. I know it may seem like I'm going kind of fast, but this eyeshadow looks is fairly easy. It's not as many steps as the other eye looks I usually do. Then I'm gonna apply a light coat of mascara because I'm gonna be using lashes. These are the Tina lashes, I think. Those are from Lena Lashes. Now I'm pretty much done with the eyes. I told you it was fairly simple. I'm gonna be applying the, I'm sorry, wiping off the excess powder and then using one of my favorite face powders from Black Up, but it was slightly rich for my skin tone, but it's okay, you know, makeup is just about going with it. And I'm applying contour. This is my Sasha, Sasha Matte Brown Blush, but because the powder was a little dark, I probably could have skipped this, but Whatevs, you live and learn. Now this is my Bella Amore blush from Milani, one of my favorite blushes. You can go really out on this blush because it's super lightweight, one of my favorite blushes. And then I'm gonna be using this Hourglass highlighter. It's called Radiant Light. And what I love about this highlighter is it's actually pretty soft. I, I packed on quite a bit of product, but it still looks natural as you can see. And now would be the time to apply bottom lash mascara if you have not already. After I fool with all the powder, then I do bottom lash mascara. As for the lips, I've been finishing by applying a soft brown liner and Teddy liquid lipstick from Dosa Colors. But quick tip, while you're applying this lipstick, do not press your lips together when it starts to dry because then it gets a little peely. Once it's wet, leave it alone and you're done. Thank you so much for watching guys. Happy New Year and I will see you on my next video. Bye.